Hi, and welcome back to WP Engine Builders. I'm Brian Gardner, Developer Advocate at WP Engine, and today I wanna to talk through three very specific uses of the WordPress buttons block. You can use it for calls to action, links to your favorite places and social media profiles, as well as highlight menu items in your navigation. Let's get started. As I mentioned, the WordPress buttons block is very powerful, and we're gonna use the Frost WordPress theme to demonstrate just how many ways it can be used. If you go to frostwp.com, you'll see we've got a demonstration here. If you click on patterns, we'll go through a few of the patterns that include buttons and you'll see how powerful this is. Here's an example of buttons being used in call to actions. There's different call to actions you can see here and a very effective use of the button. Scrolling back up, we're gonna go check them out in the featured boxes patterns. And this is again, just a way to link off to the next place you want a visitor to go to. I also mentioned uh, social media profiles. So we'll check out uh, the link page pattern that comes with Frost. And we could see a slightly different use of the button. These are the full width buttons and each one of them can link off to the social media profiles of your choice. But before we get to all of that, we're gonna go back to the general style guide of the buttons in Frost. And I'll just walk you through the different ways in which these can be styled. Now we're in the back end of the WordPress dashboard of Frost demonstration website. And I'm gonna show you just how you style these buttons. By default, WordPress offers the fill style and the outline style, which you can see the previews here. And that's what makes up this page. You can have square edges, slightly rounded edges, fully rounded edges, outlines using color, and even choose the different widths and the center left and right justifications for the buttons. I'd like to show you just how easy it is to create these buttons and style them appropriately. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding more buttons to show just how easy this is. As you can see, I've created three different buttons in the set and I'm gonna to go to each one, the middle one here and change the border radius. And then the third one, I'm gonna change that down to 50. So we've replicated what we've got below. Now you can see there's different styles of the buttons. And so what I'll do is show you how easy it is to change the background color of the buttons. Now, say for instance, you don't want that and all you want are the outlines. Also easy. I'm gonna remove the background, click the outline. I'm gonna remove the background, select outline. Now what's even cooler is you can see down here below, there's a magenta that has a colored outline and that's all based on current color of the text. So if you go here and change the text to the magenta, you will then get those buttons. Scrolling further down, you'll see that there is different options for the button widths. By default, WordPress and the theme styles the button to just automatically show the width of the text that's inside there. But as you can see down here, this button is set to 25% width. In the right sidebar, this is where the setting is. And I'll go back to this button here just to show you selecting the various widths, what happens. And then if you deselect it, it defaults back to auto width. Lastly, you can see the alignments. If you have a set of buttons that you want centered on your page, you would just highlight the whole buttons block. And you can see here, there's justify items left, justify item center, and right. So for instance, you can see as I'm toggling this back and forth, how that gets justified. Pretty cool. All right, we're now back on the Frost website and I'm gonna show you just one more trick here with buttons. We're gonna add a call to action to the navigation. Here in the header, you see the site logo and then the main navigation. Let's just say we wanted to add one more button here to the end with an outline around it to help draw emphasis. I'm gonna go into the site editor we're gonna add the button. We're just gonna call this call to action. We don't want it to be solid. We're gonna do it fill so that it gives it the outline. We're just gonna save it and then I'm gonna to go to the front end to see what we see. There we go. Now we've got the menu centered and to the right we've got a call to action. There's a lot to love with WordPress and we're huge fans of everything that it offers right now. Granted, there's a lot coming in WordPress 6.2 and beyond, but for now you can build powerful websites and one of those reasons is because of the buttons and blocks that exist.
If you're looking to explore the basics of creating powerful WordPress websites, we invite you to check out our builders resource at wpengine.com builders. Additionally, if you want to learn more about Frost, check it out at frostwp.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.